Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is yet another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. I'm your host Jack and I would like to welcome you to the shows if you've never came by before. Or if you're a long time viewer, welcome back. Um, please check out my website. I wish you'd go over there at least once a week. I'm trying to make changes and updates. That's at jackstechcorner.com now the reason you should go over there today is I know you've heard of in the past about the DVD that I've released there's 46 great high resolution elements videos on there if you want to learn elements that's a great way to start uh, the, these videos are good and I know the resolution is not that great but you get a lot more detail in the DVD and that's why it's important what I released this week was if you do not have a DVD drive I didn't want to let you out so now I've released a two CD set and on this two CD set you still get 46 videos it's just they all wouldn't fit on one CD so I broke them up and I'm putting them on two CDs for you and I'll ship those out the day after you place the order so that's another great way if you don't have a DVD drive all you need on your computer is Windows Media and, and folks these things will run they'll play on your computer and you'll be able to watch these also, please check out my uh, my sponsor, GreenScreenWizard.com. Ken owns the, the service there, the company. He wrote the software. It's great software. Check that out. The last thing I wanted to talk to you about, I want you to start emailing me with your ideas because I'm thinking of having a Skype conference call. I know. My wife said, uh, Jack, you're not Oprah. And I, and I don't want to be Oprah. But uh, I want to just try to do some kind of stuff with Skype. I started playing with Skype. And I talked to uh, Eulis, and I hope I pronounced that name right. Uh, Eulis is a, is a very, uh, I consider him a, a friend at this point. Uh, we spent about 20 minutes the other night on, uh, on Skype talking back and forth. And I tell you what, uh, you know, I'm a technology guy, and why I've never used Skype and started playing with it, I don't know. But we had a great conversation. We learned a lot about each other. Uh, he does wedding photography. I also do some uh, side jobs as weddings. So, uh, what I want to do is get a group conference call together at least once a week, you know, or once every other week. We can get as many people together in there and have a bunch of video chat windows open. I don't know if that's going to work, so I hope it does. But email me or send me your Skype information if you're on Skype. Email me your Skype information. I'll put it in my contact list and we'll have folks we can actually just call when we have a problem. Maybe we can call each other and talk. Okay. That's all I have information-wise for you this week for this show. Now, let's get on with the lesson. I was playing around this morning. What I wanted to do was take two pictures and merge them together. We've done that before. But I wanted to kind of give it an effect. An effect that um, I had an idea of uh, having my daughter looking out over the water like a water goddess. You know, like back in the Indian days. I thought, that's a pretty cool idea. How would I create that effect? Well, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is I need to have the background. And the background actually uh, I chose was, you can see this one right here. So this is the actual background I chose. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this picture right here. Here, I'll bring it up a little bit so we can see a little better. There it is. Now, Let's go ahead and start with this picture right here as our background. Throw that in the full editor. All right, there's our first piece of our puzzle, the picture, right? Now, we're gonna use this as our base image or as our background. Now we need to do is open up the piece that we're gonna put in here. So let's go back to my organizer and let's go up here. here and let's grab a picture really any picture will probably do but you know we're just going to grab one of these and let's see what we can use here let's just grab this one let's go and throw this in the full editor all right at that point all we need to do is select all this select all we're going to go ahead and pull this just like we did in the past right on top of this picture 
and minimize this all the way. Now what I want to do now is it's really large so let's start resizing it. Just grab the handle and when you do this make sure this is constrain proportions is checked because if it's not when you go to pull this you're going to end up making a real skinny person you've seen that happen right uh, short uh, person or not that short and skinny is bad but you don't want to distort the person all right let's pull this see how nice that works I can just pull it and it doesn't distort the picture that's what's important pull it up a little bit make it a little bigger now somebody was asking me earlier this week about rotating layers and if you're watching this video all you have to do to rotate a layer when you put a layer on something, I believe you're talking about a sports car, you want to rotate a number. Just down here, put your mouse here and look how that rotates. See how my mouse changes? I can rotate that all the way around if I want. I can rotate it this way, this way. It could be a logo. Maybe you're on your car you're talking about. But yes, you can rotate a layer. Alright. So we're going to put this right about here. I'm going to rotate it up a little bit more. And at that point, just click the checkbox. Now, that doesn't look too convincing, right? It's a picture on a picture, or that's like a collage. So what you want to do now is click on this background image. We're going to need a mask, right? We've got to mask out some of that like we've done in the past. Click here, and just go, levels is good. doesn't really matter what mask you use because we're not using the levels. We're using the mask. Now I click on this top one and remember to do this, this is really important, hit control G. Because we're grouping or linking that with the mask. That's what's important to do. Now, at that point we should be able to grab our brush, click on that mask, and we should be able to just be able to mask away whoop, some of this picture. Now when you're on that mask, make sure before you start painting, do a control I. And you want to fill that with black. Alright, now at this point when you have these grouped or clipped, click on this one and do a control I. Now see it's white, we're going to do a control I, it makes it black. And now what we're going to do is anywhere we paint up here with white, we're going to reveal this image here. So let's start to uh, get a little bit bigger mouse or uh, brush. I just want to call that a cursor, and I don't know why I do that, but, you know, I do. We're going to just start working our way around here, revealing this picture. Okay, there we go. Just like so. And at this point, I thought, well, that's pretty good. I have enough. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to move that a little bit. So click on your layer. Click on your Move tool. We're going to actually move her up just a little bit. It's about right there. Okay. Now I click the little checkbox again. Go back in that layer. Now we're going to actually begin to clean this up a little bit. So if we reverse our tool now and we start painting with black, you'll see what happens here. You start painting with black. And there we go. Lower your brush size down a little bit just to get around the head. You know, you want to clean this up the best you can. Don't worry if you make a mistake because all we got to do, I'll show you here in a second, we're going to clean this up. I actually should be using my uh, Wacom tablet or Wacom. I don't know how people like to say that. Anyways, different uh, ways of saying that. Okay, just for the video length here, we're going to go ahead and clean this up. Uh, remember, take your time when you're doing these. Now, if you mess up, you know, it's not like an eraser tool. It's not destructive. We have to go edit back, edit back. Just reverse these again and paint again with white. 
Here you go. Paint with white. Maybe bring the side of the glasses back here, you know. Make her look like she has a head again. Bring her hair back. Make her look like, you know, she don't want to make her look like she has a flat head. You can bring back some of the collar over here, maybe. Just like that. Okay. Pretty reasonable. You'd say, wow, that looks pretty good. Pretty fake. So what we want to do is, I thought, a, like when you have a goddess looking over a lake, you know, not that my daughter's a goddess, trust me. Uh, parents, you know what I'm saying. You know, you love them. They drive you crazy. Um, we're going to drop this opacity back. So click on that layer and let's try to drop this opacity back. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now we're getting the effect we want. I like to keep this at about 44, 45, somewhere near. There you go, there's 45. Now it looks like the head is kind of blending into the clouds. It gives you that nice effect. <clears throat> and if you hit view, fit the screen. Now the picture's really uh, coming out. Looks good. And that is how I created my little image. Um, I don't know what to call this one here yet, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Be careful though, watch when you're selecting down here. When you group these and when you invert this, it's going to hide that. But remember, just use your brush and that's what reveals it. So it's a different, it's like a backward merge. Or a backwards uh, masking technique, I guess. Instead of us taking something away and seeing the background, we're just taking the background away and seeing what's uh, the picture we put behind it. So if that makes sense. So until next time, remember, stop by the website, jackstechcorner.com. Bring me those concerns, comments, and issues, and anything else you have about Skype. If you don't have Skype, download it. It's a wonderful program. Um, and you know what? They're not even sponsoring the show. I just thought it's a wonderful program. I just want to tell you that. Um, so I'll see you back here next time. Until then, keep the shutters clicking. Keep the editors editing. And so long for now.